Helen, you can actually begin just as you did, that I was awfully glad when we got a car. Well, that was <clears throat> a wonderful old gray Buick. It had jump seats in it. We could seat nine, because some of us were pretty small at the time. And it gave us freedom to drive around. We had an aunt and uncle living two and a half miles, and going from church to there for a big family dinner was wonderful. Also, going back there when the harvest of apples was ready, we would pick up bags, take them home, borrow a squeezer and make cider and all those things, and jam, jellies. Uh, those were the days we had big gardens. You planted everything, and you canned and kept it. I remember at one time, we would have to gather in the bits of wood and corn cobs and whatever to keep the stove going and with the big wash tub on it with the jars in it and so forth. One time we ran out and uh, even wanted to do one more bunch. And we used a cream can. It would hold four quarts of beans, I think it was. And did we have beans all winter, which was good, of course. Um, one thing we had was a root cellar where we, from our gardening, we took all of the uh, carrots and other potatoes down in the cellar, and they, we had to have enough to do till spring. I'm curious, this hadn't occurred to me before, during the Depression, times are very hard. Mm -hmm. What is, what is, is the, the worst memory you have of hard times? Well, there was just wasn't any money. I wore hand-me-downs, and I remember feeling so badly one Easter. No new shoes. I could wear a, a, an old cast-off pair of my sister's. <laughs> well, they were comfortable. Um, another thing, uh, my older sister was teaching school, so she was wearing fairly good dresses. But instead of taking the dress apart and adapting it for my age, they just cut it down and it fit me. But here I was with some satin and braid and so forth going off to school, and a little hard to play at recess time in it. But, um, well, we all we're kind of in the same boat. Our neighbors, um, they couldn't do as much as they wanted to do and so forth. And, uh, did, you ever, did you ever think about people in the city being in the same boat with you? Remember that people will not hear my question. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious. Um, one of my sisters who was married lived in a small town and we would go in and visit her. And they were having difficult times, too. There were not too many new cars in the small town. This would have been Carroll, Nebraska. And it, it looked to be very difficult. My brother-in-law ran a Raleigh wagon, and um, so he was out in the country selling products and so forth, and would exchange a product for a chicken or uh, whatever else that could bring in something for food. And Let's cut for one second. Mm -hmm. oh. You can start from the beginning. Well, Let's hold on one second until this truck goes by. <laughs> With the coming of the cars, you really found more women in town like a Saturday afternoon because they could ride much easier and rather than in the buggy or the, the wagon sometimes. And so it really changed their lifestyle because they began to go into the city and look into stores and so on, which in turn affected their lives somewhat. Uh, I remember we had this great big Buick thing and how great it was when all of us could get together and go on picnics and so on. And 
a few years later, I remember my sister and another group of four girls, college girls, packed up the trunk and took off for Estes Park. Well, now, you couldn't have done that without the car. And they had a great time. We have a lot of pictures and so on from that. And Did the automobile make a difference in, in the, uh, I don't know, for lack of a better term, the equality between men and women? Um, Did it make any difference, or was that too early? No, I don't think so. The girls learned to drive as well as the, the men, and they'd send them in for parts or to get a sickle sharpened or something, and uh, would be very easy to do. Uh, but of course, on a Sunday or a big outing, the man took the wheel. But otherwise, it was <laughs> worked out fairly well. So. Good. <clears throat> I think that's it. Enough? Good. Any good, other? Good. I was um, just wondering if you had ever heard of Henry Ford. And oh, Henry. yeah. That's a, thank you. Um, Hang on one second. We have to roll again here. Let's see. Oh, Henry. you're still rolling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Had you ever heard of Henry Ford when you were a little, when you were on the farm? Oh, I must have. There were Fords and tractors, but now I don't know when they came in, but the neighbor had one, I remember, and during the harvest time and so on, we saw them. Did uh -huh. Henry Ford represent anything to you? Did you have any notion of you know, some old guy with a long white beard? or No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just had cars. <laughs> Good. No. Okay. That's it.